Hey, have you saw the new Sierra in Chinese server? Nope, I'm not talking about the girl. I'm talking about Darren. The thing is, she's not good. She's broken. In this video, we will discuss about Darren's skill set and how good is she. By the way, we're not gonna talk about today. Why do we need to discuss about Lolly character anyway? Darren is an s rank Fury Sinner. One of the reasons why people are so hyped by the release of this character is because she will be the first limited Sinner in the game, meaning that she won't be available in the off red or any banner anytime soon. Unlike my previous video, today I wanna compare Darren's stat with a Sinner pretty similar to her. That's right, Demon. Okay, let's compare Darren's stat with Zoya's stat. Darren has lower HP, defense, and resistance, but she has higher attack compared to Zoya, meaning that she has the potential to deal more damage compared to Zoya. As always, we will just yeet the basic attack cause who cares about it. Moving on to her ultimate, things start to become a little bit more interesting. Or is it? Darren's ultimate movie script has an energy consumption of 18, deal 729% damage to all enemies in the skill range. How big is the skill range? 1 times 1 square, which is pretty small. And you can store up to 2 ultimate, meaning that if you have her ultimate at full charge, you can use her ultimate twice, dealing 1458% physical damage. No control effects, no additional effects whatsoever, just a simple ultimate that deals damage with small skill range, and you can store two charts of her ultimate, that's all. I was expecting more from her ultimate, especially considering that she's the first s rank limited sinner, but then I took a glimpse of her passive and, well, I saw a lot of text there, feels like I'm gonna read a whole essay honestly. Darren's first passive, well, that's a lot of text indeed. Increase Terran's ability after completing each interference. Survive for 24 seconds. Perform 12 basic attacks. Kill 3 enemies. If you complete 1 interference, increase Terran's basic attack damage multiplier by 43.2%. If you complete 2 interference, change Terran's ultimate to make Terran move into a designated grid causing physical damage and 1 core damage to all enemies within not 1 but 2 grid in front, and increase her ultimate damage multiplier by 243%. Guys, we're not even in the third stage yet. This is her first passive. We haven't even discussed about her exclusive crime brand, her second passive, and shackles, and we have this already. Now, if you complete all interference, Increase Darren's attack speed by 32% after moving. This effect lasts for 10 seconds. Well, not as hype as her first passive second stage, but come on, you cannot tell her to be more broken than this. Darren's second passive, the graded shot, Darren gained 10% crit rate and 14% crit damage bonus. No, I'm not done yet. 10% crit rate and 14% crit damage bonus for every interference from her first passive. So if you complete all interference, you gain 30% crit rate and 42% crit damage. I don't need to explain any further. Literally free high crit rate and crit damage stat. You sure you're not gonna take that? I'm not trying to put Zoya straight up to the trash, but you have to admit, we have a new winner here. Well, things cannot be any worse, right? Wrong. Darren's exclusive crime brand dealing 300% physical damage to all enemies in a single crit. Thank god something shit about this sinner. But wait, there's more. For every interference she completed, increase this exclusive crime brand damage multiplier by 300%. So, if you completed all interference, does that mean you can deal instant 1200% physical damage? Yep. But you can only use this exclusive crime brand once, right? As always, you're wrong. She can use this ability 3 times, which means instant 3600% physical damage. 
Remember her second passive that increased her crit rate and crit damage? Her exclusive farm brand gain effect from those crit buffs mean that this ability can deal crit damage and also receives the crit damage buff. You can see that she's broken enough without her shackles, but if you can afford her first or third shackles, I have a good news for you. Her first shackles gives Darren one layer of interference at the beginning of the battle and increase the interference limit by one, meaning that by having first shackles, you're allowing your Darren a few things. Increasing her crit rate from 30% to 40%, increasing her crit damage from 42% to 56%, increasing her exclusive crime brand damage from up to 3600% physical damage, now up to 4500% physical damage and allowing you to complete the interference faster since now you only need to complete 2 out of 3. Her third shuttles gives all of your team 3% damage increase for every interference Darren has, up to 12% damage bonus. Not OP, but very useful for your team. After playing this game for a couple of months, we can all agree that even top tier sinners have their own weakness. Nops, we have a small issue with her ultimate requiring a ton of energies to activate. Hamel, she heals, that's all. Irene, well, she also requires quite a lot of energies too, which is 5 energies lower compared to Nox. We have other top tier sinners, but of course we won't discuss about them right now. The thing is, Darren has her own weakness. What is it? Well, first of all, her AoE sucks. Her ultimate and her exclusive prime brain damage range is very small, compared to let's say Nox who literally sweeps the shit out of a bunch of enemies in one ultimate region. Another downside is that she is purely used in physical team only. She definitely won't work in magic team most of the time, compared to Irene which can regenerate chips energy, allowing her to be slightly more flexible in a different type of team. But is this even a big deal? Of course not. I mean, let's be honest, if they made her skill range wider, let's say 3x3 three three grid, that will be super OP that you might don't need to pull any new physical TPS scenario within the next year, probably. As a content creator, I always trying to be honest when reviewing new characters that coming out in the game. If you watch my previous video, I don't even recommend pulling for Oak, despite being a new S rank radical sinner and people hype about her. I believe if you play plenty of gacha games before, you can tell that Darren is definitely the new game changing sinner and definitely a must pull. As always, thanks for watching, goodbye.